Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and we got some things to talk about. I recently got a 256 gig, so I've been recording, 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 and my mom, my mom let me use her, that big memory thing where you could back up your videos and stuff to it, I think it's called a, a hard drive, so that I could continue to re batch record and won't lose any of the clips. If you guys have been watching me since I came back, I've been talking about my storage on my laptop. My laptop is very old. I've been backing up those videos that's on this SD card. I've been backing the videos up to that hard drive and then deleting them off the SD card. And y'all, do y'all know all of those videos are gone? I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know how I did it, but all of them are gone. And I'm super frustrated. This is my Chop My Stash drawer. I did leave the press on nails in here that I chose for last month because I didn't use. Oops, sorry because I didn't use any of them. So I'm gonna leave these in here for the month. I decided to pull out my pack, A Marie Beauty Bar Lashes. I got Watch Me Sparkle Lashes in Goddess. I got these Royal Mink extensions in Royal Sketch and Pink Seal, I think is the name of the company. Luxury Lashes in Dark Essence. They look like that. And I also pulled out my A. Marie Beauty Bar Lashed Out Girl Lash Kit. I got Bambi, Twinkle, and Chanel. My first brand was AMB Lavish, but I changed it to A. Marie Beauty Bar. The palettes I decided to use for this month is the Perfusions Fuchsia. Girl, I was about to say Forsacia. Fuchsia Palette. And the Flock and Fabulous by Live Glam. Then I decided to pull out the Barbella eyeshadow palette. I got this in a boxy charm. Just a bunch of neutrals and warm tones. My Juvia's Place Zulu palette. One of my faves, as you can tell. That yellow is my absolute fave. Doge palette. Or do say. So that's what I have in this drawer. And I was going to put some organizers in this drawer. Outside of this bin, but... I decided to not, but I do have a lot of empty space, but I don't want to fill it up. I don't want to fill it up with extra stuff that I know I'm not going to use. So let's move into the actual pack pack drawer. All right, so as you can see, I kind of reorganized this drawer. I did add some more clear bands to this drawer. I'm really liking it so far. So back here, I still have the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Loose Setting Powder. I put a few of my new sponges that I purchased and some puffs over here. Now, I don't know if that's where this is going to stay. <clears throat> Y'all think I'm trying to get sick or something because my voice keeps going in and out like that. But like I was saying, <clears throat> uh, I don't know if this is going to stay in this section, but I just decided to put some extras right there. I did decide to pull out the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. She looks like that. Very pretty colors. I pulled out my Elegantly Me Cosmetics Blush in Touch of Spice. I don't know if this is still a company, but... I got some of her products because I was an ambassador. This blush I absolutely love for every day. Um, I decided to dwindle down on the lip products because I noticed that my bad girl, I'm being loud. I noticed that I wasn't getting through all of those lip colors last month. So I decided to leave the Tarte Man Eater plumping gloss out which is in the shade mauve i decided to leave out the gerard cosmetics hydra matte liquid lipstick and plum crazy the zoeva powerful lip twist and hiesta hestia so pretty nude i used this in one of my recent videos i decided to leave the even new york snuggy lip crayon this one is in Carnation Pink. 
and then I decided to leave in the Live Glam Kiss Me. Live Glam comes from Morphe subscription, but these don't have names on it. So those are all of the lips that I decided to keep. I went with more neutral lips because of the colorful eyeshadow palettes I chose to keep. Concealer, I decided to bring in the F16 Hour Wear Camo Concealer and this one is in Deep Chestnut. I decided to keep the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in Butterscotch. And I just recently added the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the Orange Corrector. So I just recently went and picked this up from the Beauty Supply because I remember I used to do that on my dark spots. So I decided I wanted to go back trying that. So setting spray and primer. I decided to keep the Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. Y'all, I'm trying to use at least half of this bottle before I get rid of it because I've been having it so long and I don't think I'm using it like talking about. So yeah, I'm trying to at least use half of it. It still smells like watermelon and it still performs good. So yeah, I'm trying to use it. So I do have the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer. This one is super old. It says 12 months and I know I done had it longer than 12 months. But I remember I used to love it. I'm going to try to use it and see if it still performs the same. Now the pencils that I decided to keep in this month will be my even gel eyeliner. It's a 24 hour gel eyeliner in black. My Morphe times Lucky Charms colorful pencils. This one is in Mischievous. The red one is Cherry. And the blue one is in Whimsical. And then I do have my three LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliners. This one, the purple one is Vivid. The pink one is in Blaze. And the red one is in Outrage. So those are all of the eyeliners that I will be keeping. For this month um i decided to keep some pigment some uh eye bases out so i do have the gerard cosmetics clean canvas eye base which is in the shade coco i'll show you guys what that looks like and i really do like this stuff you only need a little bit i also decided to keep my acid rain in nitro from p louise and then also the P. Louise Basic Eyeshadow and Winter Rose. The foundations. So what I said I was going to start doing is at least put one foundation that I said I wanted to do a foundation review on in my monthly drawer. If I do more than one, that's, that's really great. But at least I need to have one a month. So the first one that I decided to pick out is this Laura Mercier Flawless Radiant Perfecting Foundation in 5W1 Amber. Now Platinum D did give me this, Platinum D here on YouTube. And I think this is too light for me, but I want to do a foundation review and test it out and see if it is a shade that I can use and give y'all a review. Now this is not as new, but I think it's one of their newest foundations they have launched. I also decided that I'm going to keep this Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in my drawer until I finish it up. This one is in Golden Almond, and this is the skin foundation. Y'all see how yucky it looks? It's time for me to use it up. It's time for me to use it up. So... I said I was going to keep this in my drawer until I finish it. So you will be seeing this in videos to come and months to come until I finish it. Also, I decided to pull out the L'Oreal True Match Nude. And this one is the Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. And I got the shade Rich Deep. And it says 10.5311. I don't know why L'Oreal decided to do the foundations like that. And lastly, in the drawer, I do have my A. Marie Beauty Bar Brow Styling Soap. 
I need to start using it. Okay, so that's everything for the drawers, but you guys know that I pull out some products from the drawer that I make a bin out of. So the first bin for the makeup tutorial that I'll be doing pretty soon, I have the I Heart Revolution Gingerbread Heart Highlighter. This came from last month as well, and I decided to keep. Here is the Lori l'oreal true match super blendable makeup and this is in warm no deep warm 9.5 here are some lashes that i decided i was going to use in this look and all this belongs to my shot mustache as well oh i also put another pair just in case this one is in the style april this came from a marie beauty bar i also I'm going to use the Photo Focus Banana Powder from Wet n Wild. I have like three mascaras in here. I got the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot by Makeup Shayla. And this one is a blue mascara. Let me see. I finally opened it and decided to stop hoarding it. So it looks like she's almost dried out. I got the Marc Jacobs Mascara. And the Girl Scout by Hard Candy. Now, I pulled out these three just because I didn't know which mascara I was going to want to play with with the look that I will be creating. So, the palette I will be looking using for that look is the Juvia's Tri Palette. I said I was going to be putting on these nails. Here is the Juvia's Place Bronzed. Bronze? Juvia's Place Bronzed palette in dark I was gonna I'm gonna use the Revlon nearly naked press powder in 50 deep if I need it if I need extra eyeshadows I'm gonna be using the wet n wild not a basic peach palette she looks like that I thought she matched the tribe colors perfectly the lip combo will be the NYX lip lingerie in flaunt it I got this Grace and Stella eye patches. This is the collagen eye patch. The A. Marie Beauty Bar brow pencil. This one is in the number, I think it's nine. My sticker came off. I'll be using the mess out of it, but I think it's nine. LA Girl, the Neon and Gotcha, or the Morphe Times Lucky Charms. And this one is in Imaginative. Wait, yeah, Imaginative. Also, the Wet n Wild Brow Excessive Brow Gel, the NYX, NYX, the Marshmallow Primer, Morphe Times Lucky Charm Lip Gloss, and Marshmallow Charm, Heart Candy, Girl Scout Highlighter, Liquid Highlighter, and Coconut Caramel, Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick and Mud Slide. If I need to go Anywhere into the neutrals, I'll be using the e.l.f. Mint Melt Eyeshadow Palette in Chocolate Mint. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in Caramel. NYX Blush. This one is in Electro. And the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So that's bin number one that I'll be doing a look with. And then bin number two... So the liners that I'm choosing from with this look is those same Morphe times Lucky Charms. This one is in Optimistic. It's a yellow, like goldish yellow. And this one is in Delightful. It's a pretty shimmer blue. I will be using the Even Secret of Pharaoh Natural Black Brow Pencil. I'm trying to use this up as well. I have my LA Girls Ultimate Intense Auto Liner and this one is in Lasting Brown. I did pull out a, what is this called? Lash Glue. Lord. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, Milani Rose Water Prep and Refresh Setting Spray, the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup with Sunscreen and this is in Cafe, the Clean and Clear Gel Moisturizer in Watermelon and this one's almost done too. This Ciate Lunday Everyday Vacay Setting Powder, one of my faves. NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminizer, this is in Gleam. 
my NARS Taj Mahal blush. I only pulled out one lip, one lip for this look, which will be the Hydra Matte by Gerard Cosmetics in Boss Lady. This is a liquid lipstick and the Crayon Case Clean Kisses lip gloss. The mascara is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect. Concealer is going to be my Merit Concealer in Amber. I do have the Merit Volumizing Pomade Brow 1980. She looks like this. Y'all, I love me some Merit. Love me some Merit. I'm so grateful for the products they did send me. Here's my other Merit product in the Bronze Balm. It's a sheer bronzer in Monarch. Y'all, this thing looks so intense, but it blends out like a dream. Y'all tell me what they just look like. <laughs> okay, then I got my Black Radiance Bronze Glow Step All Over Face Powder. Y'all can tell I like it, right? I'm also gonna be using the Olimar Hydrating Complexion Trio. Yeah, yeah, super pretty. This is the nails I decided I was gonna go with for this video. Here are a pair of lashes that is no name. I'm gonna be using the Crayon Case Honor Roll Highlighter, one of my favorite products from the Crayon Case. And the show, the show stopper is gonna be this limited edition Wet n Wild Pride Palette. That is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it had to be this way, but hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.